Hello my friends, as many of you may know, this channel is all about food, fun, and finance. Food feeds your stomach. What is important to know is that finance feeds your brain and that knowledge will put more money into your back pocket. In today's video, Ling will continue with her dividend portfolio performance for her second month with a covered call strategy. She's ready to share with all of you her performance for month two. In month one, she accumulated a return of over 4%. This month, she accumulated another 4% rate of return, but also had a big lesson learned moment. She will share that with you in this video. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button now, click the bell for notifications, hit the like button, and add a comment below. We greatly appreciate it. Let's go. Thank you for the great introduction, Hapa Bob. Let's first talk about Horizon Technology Finance Corporation. This is a company that specializes in lending money and investing in companies in the technology, life sciences, and healthcare, as well as clean tech industries. They are another business development company similar to the Main Street that we did for last month. The ticker symbol for Horizon is HRZN. It was established in 2010 with current market cap of $298 million. Their expense ratio is 0.6% with monthly dividend payout at 10 cents per share per month. The X dividend date is August 17th. The reason why I like about Horizon is because their dividend growth has been consistent since 2016 and the stock price has appreciated over 150% from its inception. With the stock price close at 12.30 on July 27th, I decided to purchase Horizon. Let's take a look at the transaction detail. On July 27th, I purchased 800 shares of the stock at $12.30. That makes a total initial investment of $9,840. The stock dividend X day is August 17th which means as long as I own this stock on or before August 17th, I will be getting paid the dividend payment of 10 cents per share. And the dividend payout date is on September the 15th. On the same day, July 27th, I sold cover call with strike price of $12.50 with expiration date of August 19th. The premium for the cover call was 30 cents per share Therefore, for 800 shares, I made $240 minus whatever the fee. It was very minimum, uh, 69 cents, something like that. My thought at that time was, if the stock price hovers around $12.30, as long as it doesn't go over the $12.50, then the option would expire worthless on the expiration date of August 19th. If the stock price goes over $12.50 by August 19th, since the expiration day is two days after the dividend X day of August 17th, I will still be able to make the dividend payment. And if the stocks get called away, I will be totally fine with that assignment. With that in mind, I sold the cover call on the same day and felt pretty good about making the $240 premium from the option. The stock did fairly well. On August 16th, which is the day before dividend X day, the stock closed at $13.50. When I woke up the next day on August 17th, I was surprised to find out that I no longer own the 800 shares of the Horizon stock anymore. My cover call option was exercised the night before. I was forced to sell the 800 shares of the stock at my strike price of $12.50 of that cover call. The good news is I was able to make the 20 cents per share profit from selling the stock which is $160 in profit. So the month of August result is still very decent. I made $234.80 from the premium of selling cover call option, plus $160 from the stock price appreciation by selling the stock itself. 
and that's together a $394.80 in profit. If I use $394.80 divided by the initial capital of $9,840, that's a 4% rate of return. 4% for the monthly return is phenomenal. If I'm able to replicate and duplicate the same process month over month, that could be a potential 48% rate of return for the year. We will see. This was a big lesson learned. I was not able to collect the dividend payment as I anticipated. My stocks were assigned before the dividend X day. And the reason for that was I chose an expiration date for the cover call option way too close to the dividend X day. When I do that, I run into the risk of my option being exercised earlier than the expiration date and therefore lost opportunity to make additional profit from the dividend payment. Wow, Ling. Even though you still made a profit last month, it sounds like there are still many situations and variables to watch out for. I'm sure you will share with us as you earn while you learn in this venture. Can you please summarize the good and bad of the covered call strategy? Yes, let's do that. First, let's review the cover call basic knowledge. For example, I own 300 shares of this stock at $38 per share. 300 shares equates to three contracts. And remember, for option trading, you need to have at least 100 share, which is one contract of the stock. And I sell the option to any buyer the right to purchase my stock. The option buyer pays me a premium for the right to purchase. They don't have to purchase if they don't want to, but if they do, they have the right to do so. I, on the seller side, then receive the premium to allow my stocks to be sold at the agreed upon price, which is a strike price, by the, the expiration date. Let's break down to the three possible outcomes. Outcome number one, let's say the stock is doing really well and continue to increase in value. At the time of the expiration date, the stock market price is 42, which is higher than the strike price in this example as $40. What's going to happen to the option is this option is going to be exercised, which means the buyer has every incentive to purchase, to exercise the right to purchase the stock at $40 per share. Immediately, they would make $2 profit from this trade. On the seller's end, I make money from two ways. Number one, I keep the premium when I first sold the cover call. And number two, I make the profit by selling the stock at a higher price than how much I purchased. So I purchased the stock at 38 and I sold at 40. I also make $2 per share profit. Outcome number two is if the stock closes at the same price as the strike price on expiration date, in this example, $40. This usually does not happen very often, but if it does, the option would expire worthless. As a seller, I make money, number one, from the premium when I first sold the cover call option. The cover call option, regardless of the result, once the transaction goes through, I will keep the premium. And number two, since the option has expired worthless, that means I still keep the stock, I still have the ownership of the stock, and I can repeat this process again. Outcome number three is very similar to outcome number two. Let's say the stock starts to decline in value. On expiration date, the stock closes at $30, which is way below the strike price of 40. In this case, the option would expire worthless because it doesn't make sense for any buyer to purchase a stock at a higher price at this moment at $40 per share when the market value is only 30. As the seller though, 
I make money from keeping the premium when selling the cover call option and I also have the rights to the stocks and I can repeat this process again. Next, let me summarize the advantages of cover calls. Number one, if you own at least 100 shares of any stock in your portfolio, you can leverage the cover call options to make additional income for you. If you choose the strike price and expiration date wisely, you can let the option expire worthless and potentially make income week over week, month over month. Secondly, the premium of the option is paid out to you immediately. There is no waiting game. It doesn't matter what the outcome of the option is. You can also potentially use the premium to trade another transaction. The cover call options are very liquid. If you use the midpoint between the bid and asking price, you can usually either buy or sell cover calls within minutes. You can also use this strategy on stocks or ETFs, very flexible, and it's easy to implement once you understand how to place a trade, what strike price to select, and expiration date. So what are some of the negatives about cover calls? First of all, in order to sell cover calls, you have to own at least 100 shares of the stock. And in order to own the 100 shares of the stock, you have to have some capital to purchase the stock. This becomes a barrier to entry for a lot of the entry-level investors, and you have to select your stock very carefully with the market price. The second watch out item is the tax implications. The cover call premiums will need to pay short-term capital gain tax. And short-term capital gain tax is dependent upon your income level and your income tax bracket. So if you're not using an IRA account to trade to do the cover calls, then you will want to plan ahead of time to make sure you reserve some money to pay for the capital gains. In the previous scenario, outcome number one, when stock price has gone up significantly, in that case, you are forced to sell the stocks at the strike price. And so you lost out on potential further gains. And I want to call out in this scenario, you don't lose any money. You just didn't make as much as you would like, which makes you feel I will share some strategies to help with that scenario in the near future, so stay tuned. The last drawback is if the stock price starts to decline significantly, and because you have just entered into a cover call option, you may not be able to sell the stock to stop the loss before its expiration date. I will have a video to talk about how to close the options as well as some strategies to help with this scenario. Stay tuned. That's all for today's video. I hope you found the information helpful. If there's any other option topics you would like me to cover, please comment in below. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video on Ling's dividend portfolio performance for her second month using the covered call strategy. If you haven't watched or want to watch part one to this, click on the outro here. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and share with anyone who may also benefit from this knowledge. See you all very soon. Bye.